Hi guys, congratulations on getting the TENS machine. Um, I'm just going to be showing you how to use it. So this is just the introduction to the TENS machine, okay? First thing foremost is you're going to open it up. And when you open it up, it comes with a travel kit. So I'm just going to be putting all these aside. Inside the travel kit, you will be having first, which is the TENS machine itself. It comes with a rechargeable battery. Okay. You plug, take the battery, plug it into here, and then plug that into the wall. I won't explain too much of that because I'm sure you'll figure that out yourself. Okay. So that is the rechargeable battery. And also, it should be coming in with two electrodes. The wires. Okay. There should be two of them in here. So there should be one here and one here. And each one of them are identical to each other. So they have a red and a black. And this will be going inside the bottom part of it. So there's a channel 2 and a channel 1. So you're just going to be plugging them in right here. Like that. And then the same thing for the next one. In there like that. Okay. So it doesn't matter which one you put into which. They're both the same thing. But there's a channel 1 here and a channel 2 here. I don't know if you can see them in the camera. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to take the battery out. So you're going to pop it down and this slides right out. You're going to pop it open and you'll be putting in your rechargeable battery in here. Okay. So make sure you put it in properly. There's a little button right over there. You slide it in. It goes in. Once that goes in, you can put in the case back up and slide this back into the top like that. Okay. That's one part. Next thing is you have these electrodes, okay? Everything I'm explaining right now is gonna be on this little card over here. So there's one side that's in French and one side in English, so it goes in order. Attach the, provide the batteries, putting in the electrodes, and then it tells you the difference between the TENS and the EMS settings, okay? So once you put them in, you're gonna be having these Electrodes. These are the electrodes that's going to be going attaching into your body part. It can be your neck, it could be your knees, your back, anywhere you want to, you're going to use this. It has adhesive, so you're going to be sticking this onto your body. Whenever you're sticking it onto your body, you want to make sure you don't put it on anywhere that has too much hair or it's too oily because it's not going to stick on properly. A little bit of hair, like the arm hair is okay, but when I mean hair, I mean like hair on the head or anywhere else. If your back is really hairy, then it won't stick onto it. And once you're done using it, you want to put it back onto this clear film so that it doesn't get affected, the adhesions, you don't lose that, okay? So whenever you're putting them in, you're going to connect it to the end of these electrodes. It doesn't matter which one you put into which, they're all the same thing. So as you can see, you can just slide right in like that. And then this one, you can put it right into there just like that. Same thing with the next channel. Same thing, just like that. Good. make sure it goes all the way in and this goes into this side right here all right perfect so now everything is connected and ready to go okay before you turn it on you just have to hit the power button right here let me just show you you can zoom in right there hit the power button it should turn on okay but before you turn it on i want to show you how to place these pads and where to place them okay so you're going to be opening up one of the books that are in here one's in french one's in english as you open up this book, right in the middle of the page, as you slide it to past the first page right here, it's going to, page number 26, it's going to show you the difference between the TENS setting and the EMS setting, okay? So TENS is going to be more for long-term, short-term pain relief. I advise you to use that for areas such as like your neck or your back, any joint issues just to decrease any of the pain there. The EMS setting, that's more for muscle pain. So if you have muscle spasming, or if you want to increase blood flow to the region, you're going to be using the EMS setting, okay? So even in this little book over here, if you look at it, it tells you the difference between TENS and EMS, so you can read a little more about that, okay? So on page 26, it's going to show you about the TENS setting. So right over there, it says TENS. As you switch through the page, let's see. Uh, once you get to page number 38, it's going to start showing you the areas for EMS, okay? So the book is going to show you where to place the pads, okay? So in this example showing for people who have neck pain under TENS, it says over there 1B and 1R. So let's assume you call this channel 1, any of the rods channel 1. 
the B stands for black and the R stands for red. So over here, it's gonna show you the one black is gonna go on the top left neck and the one R is gonna go on the bottom right neck. And then you can use channel number two. So let's say you call this one channel number two and it also has a black and a red. So over there, it shows you B2 and on the bottom left, it's gonna show you uh, 2R. Okay, so it makes a crisscross shape. And you can use this for any areas of pain. So right now it's on neck, but you can use it for your lower back. And again, it shows you exactly where to place it on your lower back. For people who have sciatic pain, pain shooting down their legs. And same thing, it shows you channel one black is on the top of the back. And then um, one red, which is uh, mid butt region. And then after that's gonna go down your thighs for channel two, okay? Same thing over here for el elbow pain, for wrist pain. Um, knee pain, ankle pain, you get the hint, any area that's mainly related to like the joint region, you can use the, the TENS. After you finish off with that, it goes into the EMS page and this is going to be more targeted towards muscles. So same thing over here, one R, one um, B stands for one red, one black, and it goes up like this and then channel two is going to go like that. It can go in for your lat muscles, your lower back muscles, your glute muscles hamstring muscles, calf muscles, same thing. So it just kind of tells you exactly where to place them onto your body, okay? So now that you had stuck it based on your body based on what the book has shown, you're gonna have to use the machine to kind of play with the settings a little bit, okay? So this over here is the main page. So if you look over here, it says tens right there, right? So this is gonna be on 10 setting. Okay? So if you hold the program button right over here for three to four seconds, it's gonna switch it from tens to EMS. There you go, it goes into EMS now, right? And if you wanna switch it back from EMS to tens, you're gonna hold it again for uh, four seconds and it's gonna switch back to tens. The good thing about this machine is that um, it has presets. Right now there's 19 presets in this machine and um, each preset is designed based on the intensity and the frequency that it's gonna um, uh, deliver the impulse or the electrical current into the body, right? So if you look over here, it has a little dot on the neck. This zero pre uh, preset number zero is for the neck pain. If you just tap this uh, program button right over here, it's gonna go to chronic neck pain, so it's preset number one. If you hit it again, it's gonna go to the low back pain. So it's gonna adjust the frequencies accordingly to the body part. So you don't have to play around with the frequencies, you just gotta put it on the right area and it'll, dis and it'll adjust it accordingly. Hit it again, now it's gonna go to sciatic pain. So preset number three is for sciatic pain. People have pain going down their legs hit the program button again it goes into elbow pain wrist pain knee pain ankle pain again knee pain but it's acute hip pain menstrual pain headaches and then after that it just doesn't matter what body parts is just going to show you based on how it delivers the, the impulses so it's going to go up to 19 after 19 it'll go back to zero and zero is going to go back to the to the neck now Let's say, for example, you want to do it for uh, low back pain, okay? If you put on low back pain, you're going to put the pads onto the low back the way it shows in the book, obviously. So, like that, okay? And then, right now, the machine is not on, so it's going to say zero. So, this is channel one, if you can see that, and that's going to be channel two. So, channel one is going to go to this wire, and channel two is going to go to this wire. And you can in increase it so you can start to feel it. So, once you start to use it, you want to hit the up button, it's going to go to uh, one. And you, I, I advise you to go one by one, and as you're bringing it up, you're going to start to feel the impulses on your lower back. So the first time I want you to be a little cautious is do it really, really slowly until your body gets used to it. And then eventually you can get more comfortable and speed it up a lot more faster. The goal is to bring it up as high as you can tolerate. So some people can go up to like even 10, some people go to 20. It doesn't matter. The point is I want you to feel it and then you decide when you want it to stop, okay? So you can literally keep going up until you feel like that's enough. So you see it's going seven, seven, and now both of the pads are turned on right now and they're stuck to your back. And then as soon as you feel like that's enough, that's you can feel it, um, you can just leave it on your back and it has a timing over here. So see over here it says 39 minutes and every preset has a different time duration. So this is for the low back, low back is 40 minutes. But for in the event that you don't have 40 minutes, you wanna get a quick pain relief, all you have to do is you come over here and you hit this button right here. When you hit this button, it's gonna shift down 
to something smaller, so 27 minutes. However, the machine is gonna change the setting and it's gonna make it a little more stronger just so it delivers the same amount of electrical current to your body. So same thing over here, if you hit it again, now it's gonna go to 12 minutes and you can only have three options, okay? After that, it's gonna go back to the regular 40 minutes that you initially wanted, okay? And then if you want to pause for whatever reason, you can always hit this pause button right here and that's gonna stop it and pause it. And if you hit it again, it's gonna to continue to where you left off at, okay? Um, if you wanna change from 10 CMS, you have to bring it down to zero first, so you gotta pretty much turn it off. And then once it's completely off, and then you can hit the program button to change it to EMS. So now it's gone to EMS. So same thing for the EMS. Let's say, for example, you want to do it in um, your calf muscles or your hamstrings, so lower back. You're going to put it based on the way the picture shows on the book, and then you're just going to turn it up. And then once you turn it up, let it. the timing is already going to be set, and you just leave it there for the recommended time. And then once the timing is stopped, it's going to turn off on its own. Or if you want, you can pause it and turn it off yourself by hitting the power button. Okay. Again, once you're done with the machine, you're going to take, take it out of the area that it's stuck onto and put it back onto the film. And then roll it up, put it away. Now, the only time you're not going to be using this machine is whenever you have a hard pacemaker. If you're uh, pregnant or think you may be pregnant, you don't want to be using it. And at the same time, it's not going to be helpful for anything that has like a sore or like a wound or anything like that. So it's only used for uh, muscle pain, joint pain, and just for chronic pain relief. Okay? And if you have any questions, you can always contact the clinic or contact myself and I'll help you out. Alright, enjoy the machine.